please take note. That was absolutely It's nice to know that my family are there for me. My parents have given me all the inspiration to do this. She's worked so hard, and uh, now she's just trying to go for the, the, her dream. It sounds really corny, but they're, like, the biggest inspiration. My mum had a hit with Let Me Be Your Fantasy in the 90s. It was in Galaxy in the 80s, and he had some hits as well. Coming here, strangely enough, takes us back. Yeah. I mean, this reminds me of Top of the Pops. Yeah. And I thought, you know, this is our girl doing it now. Yeah. It really does set the heart We're really proud, really We're proud. We're so proud. They know exactly what it's like to go out there on stage, you know, singing in front of millions of people. It's so bizarre that I'm doing it now. And um, I said to my dad yesterday, I was like, are you jealous that I'm more famous than you now? <laughs> he was like, yeah, actually. <laughs> confidence and how it is that you know it can be a real key to a performance how confident do you guys feel in your own ability when you have to do a big number like that um, well personally I, th I feel confident in my ability but then you come to the day of the live shows it's like you know it's hard to not, not let your nerves take over in a way isn't it and you just have to just put on a brave face and give 100 percent i think as well like the main thing is it was such a shock bronte going last week and um i think you've got to just come out every week and just have as much fun as possible because you never know when it's going to be your last night oh true uh, let's go over to the panel john very different uh, performances there you know jenny and a big dance number set just by herself how do we compare those well, Steph, last week you dazzled us with your choreographic skills, and this week you dazzled us with your acting ability. That was absolutely wonderful. Sincere and honest. Jenny, this is a difficult one for me with you because I'm starting to think that maybe you're faking it. And I'm not looking for a girl that fakes it. I'm looking for a girl that can actually do it. Uh, Charlotte? Steph, um, I think you're a triple threat. I think you can act, you can dance, and you can sing. The one thing I'd say is be, be careful of your vibrato, which is the wobbly stuff in your voice. Sometimes maybe it's nerves. It can get a little overpowering, so just be careful to hold that back. And Jenny, the overall performance was pretty good, but your voice got really nasally there, really, really nasally. And I know it doesn't have to all the time because Songbird was beautiful all the way through last week, so listen out. And uh, very briefly, Sheila. Uh, I thought Steph was absolutely beautiful, very deeply felt and simple and lovely. Jenny, I, 
don't care whether you can dance or not. Just have fun with it, like you were in rehearsal. You could have gone further and just think, oh, to hell with the choreography. I'll just have a dance. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. <laughs> Andrew, what did you oh, think? I don't know. I would listen to Sheila about that. I would say to hell with the choreography in that one. You know, I mean, you did extremely well with it. A tricky one, though, to do. You know, Steph, I would just say one thing to you. I think you're immensely talented. I only worry about whether or not, in fact, this Dorothy is the right one for you. It's only about the role, 